Hey guys, welcome back. This is Team Turn 3, and uh, here we are in Season 2. Um, so I'm Jesse, and today I'm joined by... I'm even. Adam. Martin. Martin, uh, aka Horniger from the Discord. It's uh, good to have you here. Yeah, thanks. It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> All right, so um, I guess that's everything. Um, Martin, I believe you won the die roll, so why don't you take it away? All right. All right, hey guys. Uh, this is Martin, and today I was playing uh, Thrasios Timna... Uh, Wedding cake, as Adam called it. Uh, it's just a Thrasios Timna adaptive combo list. Uh, so our main win conditions are Dramatic Reversal, and Isochron Scepter, Oriac Salvagers, Lion's Eye Diamond, and Angel's Grace and Adnauseum. Uh, once we have any of those, we can Blind Obedience and uh, win the game from there. Alternate lines include the Time Twister Loop, or Wheel and Notion Thief, and usually that's good enough. Uh, we run a good disruption package as well as some interaction um, and a lot of tutors in order to get us there. So for the first uh, for the first game, uh, the opening hand will be Tantra, Island, Mana Confluence, Another Island, Silence, Muddle the Mixture, and Toxic Deluge. Now I'm not very happy keeping this hand at all. This hand really doesn't get anywhere. Yes, it has a Silence. Yes, it has a Muddle the Mixture, but... Four lander, I'm not going to keep this, so I'm going to try for a better seven. The second seven I ripped off was uh, a Nature's Claim, a Regrowth, a Shadow of Doubt, a Mystical Tutor, a Flusterstorm, a Windfall, and a Mystic Remora. Similarly to the first seven, this one's not keepable. There's no lands, there's no acceleration, there's just nothing going for it, really. It's down to six we go. At six, we find Oriox Salvagers, Blind Obedience, Notion Thief, Watery Grave, Snow Covered Island, and a Worldly Tutor. Again, unfortunately, this hand just does nothing. Uh, yeah, we have two blue sources, sure, but with no counterspell, no interaction, a lot of white and some green. This hand's really not going to go anywhere. On to five, hopefully. So at five, we're going to have the fall. We're going to have a Pact of Negation, a Counterspell, a Mental Misstep, an Island, a Verdant Catacombs. At this point, I decide that this is a hand I'm willing to keep. The Island is the, uh, the island and the Verdant Catacombs are, are, are two lands. Um, worst case scenario... You know, I can go off. I, I I can get someone with a mental misstep, uh, and the counterspell for absolute worst case scenario, turn two or so. Uh, my scry for this hand was a mox opal, which I absolutely took to the bottom. The opal was not going to be online anytime soon, so at this point, uh, I decided to put it to the bottom and see what I can get. Well, we'll see how this goes, and I'll see you guys in game. Hey guys, Jesse here. Today I'm playing uh, Yidris Maelstrom Wielder. Uh, so this is actually Jim Wolfie's deck called Melt Banana, and it's about as all-in for a Storm deck as you can get. We're not running Doomsday, we're not wasting any time with stuff like that. We just want to uh, play, to quote Jim Wolfie, a good, clean, main phase ad nauseum on turn 2 or turn 3. Um, and from there just kind of storm off. Uh, now the thing about Yidris is that uh, while we don't rely on him necessarily to win... He is one of our outlets for generating a tremendous amount of storm uh, if we just have a few cards in hand. Uh, so ultimately, that does put a deck uh, building constraint on us. So we're not running nearly as much permission as a lot of other storm decks are. Instead, we're running hand disruption. Now, to go with that hand disruption, uh, we also have waste knot. Waste knot obviously being another way to storm off, um, sort of taking the place of notion thief in this deck list. Uh, in addition to that, we're running some great Cascade targets like Lotus Bloom and Ancestral Visions. Uh, so basically, yeah, as I said, this is about as aggressive and uh, forward as you can get for a Storm deck. Very fitting for something that is uh, missing white and very fitting for something that just wants to uh, Cascade and is aptly named Melt Banana. If, you ever, <laughs> if you've never heard of them, check them out and you'll get the idea. All right, so uh, for this game, we kept our first seven, and it's quite the seven-card hand. So it's a Watery Grave, a Windfall, a Dark Ritual, a Taiga, a Culling the Weak, an Orcish Lumberjack, and a Dark Petition. So um, yeah, this hand might not seem like much, but in fact, it represents a uh, turn to ad nauseum uh, main phase. So it's a pretty powerful hand, and actually it's going to generate a ton of mana, and, and we can probably win right on the spot. Uh, and if that fails, if we can't seem to pull it off, then we actually have Windfall, 
to uh, try to recover with. So this hand seems great. Turn one uh, Orcish Lumberjack into a turn two Watery Grave, Dark Ritual, Culling the Weak, sacrificing the Orcish Lumberjack after we sacrifice our Taiga. Yeah, it's just gas. Hey everyone, Steven here. I'm back for season two. Today I'm going to be playing Food Chain Tazri. Uh, the deck list I'm using is Shape Your Savants, which you can find on Tapped Out. So, Food Chain Tazri uh, is one of those fast combo decks that works by uh, generating infinite mana through Food Chain. To get there, you will want to exile Miss Hollow Griffin or Eternal Scourge, which are cast from exile creatures. To help this, uh, you're going to use Foresight, Extract, or Manipulate Fate. Um, to be able to recast them from exile, you could be exiling your uh, mana dorks through food chain. Then once you have infinite mana, you are going to be casting General Tazri, which will search for one of the win cons. We have three in this deck. One is Hagra Diabolist, the other one is Helmar Excavator, and Clastra Healer. Once you resolve that, you exile General Tazri, recast General Tazri, the abilities of her uh, allies will kick in, and that's how you win. To search for Food Chain or any of your cards that you need in your deck, I'm playing with the three Forbidden Tutors here, which are Demonic Consultation, Plunge Into Darkness, and Tainted Back. Uh, yeah, these are your tricky tutors that have, you know, the added effect of being able to exile uh, your Miss Hollow Griffin or your Eternal Scourge, but they will find what you need in a jiffy. So my first hand was a Wooded Foothills, Arid Mesa, Noxious Revival, Tarnished Citadel, Enlightened Tutor, Contaxian Probe, and a Bayou. Now, now this, this hand is just complete trash. Um, I mean, in a game like this, I had no tutors, I had a lot of ramp. Um, sure, the tutors and lighter tutor, but in a game, this particular table, I wanted some interaction. So I found that this wasn't going anywhere, so I decided to ship this one back. Now, my second hand was a Chain of Vapor, Wall of Roots, Extract, Blue Chain, Third Confidant, Noxious Revival, Carpet of Flowers. Okay, if I had some land, any sort of land, maybe two lands, maybe some rocks, I would probably keep this one because I had Carpet of Flowers, so I know everyone is playing blue today. I also had a Chain of Vapor and an Extract, half of my combo there, and Food Chain, but no lands, unkeepable. Now I went down to six cards, and six cards were Habro Diabolist, Mystical Tutor, Gitaxian Probe, Helmar Excavator, Nature's Claim, and a Bayou. I don't like going down to five, especially in a game like this. I mean, at least I had a Gitaxian Probe, I'd be able to draw. I had my Scry, and a Mystical Tutor. Nature's Claim, I was able to maybe knock off a rock, a uh, Paradox Engine, or uh, Aetherflux Reservoir. It's not something I wanted to keep. I also did not want to go down to five cards. And my scry was a Mana Confluence, which I decided to keep on top. Hi, this is Adam. This week we're playing Little Brother's Thrasios File Smasher List. It's a layered combo deck that aims to win through Isochron Scepter Dramatic Reversal, or with Paradox Engine and Sensei's Divining Top with rocks that produce at least 5, five mana. The main outlet for these is Aetherflux Reservoir, as both lines generate a large amount of storm, in the case of Dramatic Reversal, an infinite amount of Storm. However, if your, if your Aetherflux Reservoir is exiled, you can still win using various Time Twister loops. So, our first opening hand this game was a Tropical Island, a Nature's Claim, Tormod's Crypt, Wheel of Fortune, Sensei's Divining Top, Abrupt Decay, and Demonic Tutor. This is a one, one land hand, and we don't really have like the right colors with the Tropical Island. We can't really cast this Demonic Tutor. We're going to be really betting on top decking a Black Source. So I don't think this is good enough. So we ship it back and we get a Windswept Teeth, an Exotic Orchard, a Chrome Mox, Into the Royal, Pyroblast, Dramatic Reversal, and Impulse. This isn't like a crazy good hand, but it affords us an early impulse into maybe something good. We already have half of our dramatic reversal combo, or maybe we top deck something good after looking at the top four with impulse and bottoming three of them. So I decide to keep this hand. I will draw for turn. Um, I would like to play a bird in canicombs and pass the turn. Sure. I'll take a draw. Uh... I'll play a Taiga and tap it for a Spice Orcish Lumberjack. Do you? And pass. All right. I'm draw for turn. 
play a mana confluence. I'm gonna pay two life. And I'm gonna get taxi and probe Adam. Oh, okay. Here's my hand. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> How does it look? Uh it's it's pretty spicy. Oof. What? I think it's spicy. Alright. But I have a little tolerance for spice. Mm. <laughs> okay, right. good. And I will draw. Go ahead. Oh, neat. I will play an exotic orchard. Ooh, pretty good going last. I will play a lotus paddle. Mm -hmm. And a chrome mox. And I will exile into the royal under it. And turn one time twister. No, no turn one time twister. I'll just pass on this. Okay. Um, end of your turn. I would like to crack the burning catacombs going down to 39 okay. life. So for my fetch for my burning catacombs, I have a tapped watery grief at the end of Adam's turn. Proceeding to my turn. Untap. Draw. I would like to ca play an island. And <laughs> well, you're allowed. Good thing you didn't cast it. Take a draw. Uh, I'm gonna shock myself. And let's go ahead and cast Thoughtseize, and I'm gonna target you. Oh uh, boy. Targeting Naven. Let's get rid of that mystical tutor then. Well, it's reveal. That is so reveal. I would like to see. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Oh boy. That's pretty spicy. And then I'll pass. For that. Tap green. Play mana vault. Good. End step. I will impulse. Seems good. That's fine. So I will untap, upkeep, draw. Play a windswept teeth. Mm -hmm. We'll crack it for a tropical island. Uh, yeah, tropical island. Okay. Is gonna, oh, look, it's on top of my deck. Yeah, that happens. What a waste of a tutor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thought you were a better magic player, Adam. It's a fetch, it's fine. Yeah, that was a joke. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like when you vampiric tutor for something and it's on top anyway. It's like. Um, no, but, and, then, and then you have to like pretend like you're just like. Yeah, it's like it wasn't there the entire <laughs> yeah, yeah. time. You're just like, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So I got Tropical Island. I'm going to pay three. In a wheel of fortune. I'm going to pay one life. Gene. I'm going to kill your mox diamond. I don't have one of those. Or a chrome mox. That's fine, I guess. I'll go up for life. Um, I'm would you like to respond to the wheel of fortune? I would three. like to respond to the wheel okay. of fortune. I'm sorry if I jumped to your priority. I would like to counterspell your wheel, wheel of fortune. Oh. Seems good. Well. I'm kind of all in at this point. Pyroblast. I would like to respond to your pyroblast. Yeah. Until messed up. Correct. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Value. <laughs> You're just done. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that unnecessary <laughs> mental or that unnecessary nature's claim. <laughs> For value. All right. Go ahead. All right. I will untap. I will draw. Can I just like sleep on the table or something? <laughs> like. And I like go get food, come back, or <laughs> not over. Someone else could wheel. I will play a scrubland for a turn. I would like to tap my scrubland for white, my watery grave for black, and my island for blue. You're allowed. And I would like to cast Timna. Cool. Cool. And I would like to pass. You're allowed. All right. I'll take a draw. It's a land. Oh boy. <clears throat> All right. Gonna go ahead and cast Dark Ritual. Mm -hmm. All right, mind getting me these uh, floating manners? Uh, 
Thank you. All right. I'm going to go ahead and tap this for a, let's go with a red. Mind passing me the other. Which ones do you want? I'm going to want all of them. Just pass me all of them. Oh, okay. Oh, oops. <laughs> Jump in the gun a little there. Cool. So I have one red floating. I'm going to sack this for three green. All right, Jim Wolfie, please just guide me. Guide me. I'm going to cast Culling the Weak. Sacrifice Orcish Lumberjack. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I'm up to six black. Gonna cast Dark Petition. Did the man blow all of his removal on me? Or rather, all of his interaction on me? Is Dark that what happened? Did that Dark happen? Petition. <laughs> Dark Petition resolves? Yeah, it resolves. Did someone count? Oh, no. I have Spell Mastery. Mm -hmm. Jim, it's all for you. Everything, Everything is for you. Team turn three, team Jim Wolfie, team main phase ad that I didn't have to reveal. reveal. Oh, whatever, if you're going to main phase it, who cares? We need to play some Melt Banana right now. <laughs> melt Banana? Is that what the deck is called, actually? That's what it's called? Called Melt Banana? It's called Melt Bananas. Why is it called Melt Banana? Because it's named after a band oh. that Jim Wolfie has to listen to while he's playing this deck. Oh, okay. I'm going to... Ad nauseum, spending three black. That, and I don't know how much it actually matters. Let's float one black ultimately. Ad Oops. nauseum on the stack. Yep. I'm at 36 life. With two, 34, three, 33, four, five, two, 31. Six, seven, eight, mm. nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Pretty good card. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. Um, fifteen. Fifteen. So nineteen. Yeah, nineteen. Twenty. So I'm at sixteen life. We'll keep going. Sixteen, seventeen. So twenty-two. I'm at fourteen. Uh, I'm at 12. I'm at 10. I'm at 9. I'm at 8. I'm at 6. Yeah, we'll stop there. We don't have Mind's Desire in hand. No, we don't. Alright, so Mind's Desire is still in the deck. Oh, look at all these cards. I'm at six life. Mm -hmm. Jim Wolfie, guide me. Jim. But well, we definitely have Threshold online. Cast Summer Bloom. Mm -hmm. Can play three additional lands this turn. So I haven't played a land this turn, so I'll play Ancient Tomb. We'll play... Badlands, Volcanic Island, and finally, let's go with, oh man, I have no more untapped lands, I guess, whatever, we'll go with City of Brass. It turns this is turn, turn three. three. Turn right. three. Okay. Mm -hmm. We got there, and it's going to be exciting, as we're storming off in a way that's not Paradox Engine. Yeah, or something. All right, so how many spells have I cast this turn? One, two, three... Four so far. Spend a black. And we'll ouch ourselves. Loading a colorless. And a black. So actually, we spend that. So we'll Cabal Ritual, which generates five black. We'll go ahead and cast Imperial Seal and fall to two. Oh boy, how exciting. 
Our life total is going to get very low. What does everyone have in their graveyards? Nothing. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I go for a Yawgmoth's Wheel Shaman's Trance line oh, here. Oh, God. For maximum oh. spice. Yeah. Well, I got a wheel. Oh, uh, your oh, God, sustain me. I'm sure Jim Wolfie would be proud. I mean, I got a Catacombs, a Counterspell, and a Mental Mist up. Gitaxian Probe. Uh, Mystical Tutor and a uh, Nature's Claim. Okay, so I tutor a card to the top. Cast Brainstorm. Uh -huh. Draw one, two, three. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll put two back on top. So it'll be two, I think. Um, let's see. What do we do next? Jim, this is all for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and cast Past in Flames Past the Flames Yep, Past in Flames So each instant and sorcery in my graveyard gains flashback until end of turn mm -hmm. Spend this Cast Cabal Ritual mm -hmm. We're back up to 5 black Whee! We'll cast... Petition? Uh, maybe Dark Petition again. Let me think. I'm bringing coloring books next time, guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. Cast Aether Flux Reservoir. Why, oh. did, why did you fight me on it? You could have just let it re resolve. Um... Because these are my last two cards in hand, and this isn't going anywhere. <laughs> well... <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna fall to one life. I'm gonna cast... Summer Bloom for my graveyard. Trigger. What's the storm count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Because I cast that twice. I'm going to gain eleven life. Off of casting what? The Summer Bloom. Okay. Oh, yeah. We can play three lands now. Let's go ahead and play Wooded Foothills. Crack it. Flooded Strand. Crack that too in response. <laughs> I might. All right, we can still cast things from the graveyard, should we so choose. Instants and sorceries, naturally. So let's crack Marsh Flats. Okay, we'll get Bayou. Tap Bayou to cast Dark Ritual. Trigger. I'll gain 12 life. So I'm up to 23. <laughs> 23. All right, Stormin. Jim, this is for you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep saying that every, like, few minutes? I, I just feel like he'd appreciate it somehow. Okay. <laughs> Guys, if you like this deck, check it out in the links below. This is a classic Storm deck. All right, let's just... Let's just stop BMing here. Uh, yeah, see, your keyboard's over there. I'm going to go pry the <laughs> F6 key off and just put it in front of me. Fair. We'll go ahead and uh, fetch again. We'll shock ourselves to go back to 20. I too Speed want things to. up a little. All right. So the plan is to get enough life to just add nauseam again. For maximum BM. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm going to try to finish this off, guys. In all seriousness, so stomping ground, um, obviously not tapped because I paid the life, so I'll tap it for a green, and a green and a black, uh, play bloom tender, trigger, so we're up to, I think it's what, 34 life now? I'm sure someone will correct us in the comments below, please do. Alright, we'll cull bloom tender. Trigger. We're up to 34 plus 15, so I guess 49 life. You dead. I can use my other left eye. It's not like I need it. <laughs> so we're back up to 5 black. We'll play Helm. We'll play... Oh, Helm puts you up at... Uh, yep. Pretty high. Yeah. Pay one for a talisman. So I'm up to like 60 something. 
You like that. <laughs> the talisman. No, I like the 60-something. Pay one. Oh, the second talisman. Wow. Um, so now you're at 80-something. Pay one for a scepter. Imprint dramatic reversal onto it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Pay two. Yep. Infinite dramatic reversals. Mm -hmm. Infinite spells with Aetherflux Reservoir. Ping, ping, ping. Wait, pay 50, kill Timna first. I'll, p I'll kill Timna first. Okay, yeah, she, she dies. And in response, I'll kill Timna. And in response, I'll kill Timna. <laughs> well, I guess that's that. That's uh, the storm lines. That's uh, it's the manual storms. That's the way they go. That's ad nauseum. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll talk about this game in the post game. Hey, guys. Welcome to the post game. And uh, that was quite an interesting game. Just uh, a one last shout out to Jim Wolfie. Thanks for the deck. It's called uh, Melt Banana. I'm sure you already knew that, but for the viewers back at home. Um, yeah, so that was a pretty interesting one. In fact, I had the win in my hand as early as turn two, but I saw that Martin was representing Counterspell, um, passing with two blue mana up fairly conspicuously, and I was like, well, it's it's a pretty all-in play if I'm going to go for this, so I'm going to hold off. Um, and ultimately, I guess I got rewarded for doing so. What do you think, Niven? Um... <laughs> I kind of jumped the gun there with the uh, the nature's claim because I really thought uh, something was going to resolve on this end until uh, Martin started interacting. I'm holding on to the nature's claim for when Jesse was going to go off. I'm not sure how it would have played out then, but uh, I'm pretty sure you probably would have or drawn into something like that. Especially since you already thought sees me, so you knew that I had nature's claim in hand. Right. So, uh, you probably had ways to play around that. So uh, I just found that uh, it's an interesting game. I wish there was a bit more interaction. Well, there was that big fight. There was a big, big, fight. big, big fight. No, it was, <laughs> it was that I had, I had a decent start. I had the, I had the Chrome Mox. I had the Chrome Mox. Um, I was, I had the impulse into like some other stuff, some other stuff. Like I think, I think there was like, there was maybe like a talisman or something in there, and then the Wheel of Fortune. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna take the Wheel of Fortune. I can get the wheel off. Maybe wheel into something better, because otherwise I didn't have all that much great stuff in my hand. And then after I wheeled and even blew up my, my Chrome Mox, and then Martin started started counterspelling me, so I said I have to spend the Pyroblast because I have no mana. Like, I'm behind now. I need to get this resolved to, like, to stay in the game at all. But he had the mental misstep, so... Mm. Yeah, and the reason I, I went ahead and counterspelled the uh, Wheel of Fortune is just because... I I was basically on a very counterspell heavy hand, um, and I d I didn't really want uh, the wheel of fortune resolving because I was really far behind on board as well, and I was I, I just didn't want anyone getting more gas necessarily. Um, there was no way I could have predicted that Jesse had the turn turn one nuts basically. Um, so I, I felt that at the time that I really needed to fight over that wheel of fortune. Uh, I was not expecting the pyroblast though. So I was really hoping I could keep up a misstep for mm. another relevant counterspell, such as, uh, you know, Swan Song out of Jesse or something like that. Uh, hitting a Dark Ritual or yeah, something like Ritual, that. Yeah, Dark Ritual, yeah, I think that would have really changed the game. Yep. Um, yeah, I mean, other other than that, really, I could have Hercules recalled uh, and, and kind of forced all, all, of, your, um, all of your artifacts into, in, into your hand, which I think would have been... A decent but play. I didn't have any artifacts because Neven blew up the, right. and, and what I'm the saying diamond is, and right. I cracked the lotus. So Right. Right. But what I'm saying is if if uh, he didn't have to jump the gun, he would have I would have right. Hercules did. And I think that might have changed the game slightly <laughs> because it would have been on my turn and I would have untapped with counterspelled up. So I mean I I guess that's about it. Yeah. I mean uh, I'm sure uh you guys back at home will have some thoughts about what the correct lines here uh, would have been, and uh, we're very happy to hear them. Uh, so, yeah, please uh, don't forget to uh, leave a comment below. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you in the next game. It's going to be a double feature today. All right, so it's time for game two, and uh, this time I believe Adam on the die roll. Thank so, God. Adam, why don't you take it away? All right. This game, our first opening hand was Aetherflux Reservoir. Sensei's Divining Top, Exotic Orchard, Praetor's Grasp, Underground River, Felwar Stone, and Vandal Blast. This hand seems kind of slow to me, and we have and we have Vandal Blast and Aetherflux Reservoir, which are kind of higher mana spells for us to be playing. Um, we don't really have any good tutors. We do have the Praetor's Grasp, 
But ultimately, I feel like this is a bit of a weaker seven, so I decide to mulligan. We mulligan into Island, Belwar Stone, Brainstorm, Time Twister, Swan Song, Abrupt Decay, and Regrowth. Um, our only land in this hand is an Island, and it's quite possible that we don't get there. So I decide to shuffle this one away, and we draw an Underground Sea, a City of Brass, Ancient Tomb, a Marsh Flats, an Icecrown Scepter, and a Gamble. Well, we do have a gamble into maybe, like, a dramatic reverse to put on the Isochron Scepter. This, again, isn't super ideal, because otherwise we only have lands and we don't have any rocks to untap with it. So we mulligan yet again, and we arrive at our Keeper, which is a Mana Crypt, a Breeding Pool, Demonic Tutor, Arbor Elf, Ancient Tomb, which is fair enough, like... We can we can maybe cast that Demonic Tutor. I don't really want to go to four. If we find a Black Source, we're peachy with this hand. So maybe if we find something good off the scry, or if we scry it to the bottom, we'll, we'll be set. And we do scry a Marsh Flats and decide to put it on top so we get our Black Source that we need. All right, so this time uh, I kept my opening seven of a Verdant Catacombs, a Windfall, Impulse, Mystic Remora, Island, Preordain, and a High Tide. This hand has two uh, two lands. Uh, one of them is an island, which is great. Red and Catacomb can go fetch me whatever I need. Very heavy blue hand, yes, but I do have a Preordain to, to, to take a look. And turn one Remora going second isn't necessarily always a bad thing, so I figured I'll keep this. Um, by turn three, I, w I will be looking to do a Windfall, uh, hopefully to get me some more gas, depending on how it goes. So yeah, I think this is an okay hand, uh, and uh, we'll see where it goes. I'll see you guys in game. All right, so for this game, our first seven was a Summer Bloom, a Watery Grave, a Gamble, a Sylvan Library, a Yawgmoth's Will, a Dark Ritual, and a Reign of Filth. So this is one of those hands that uh, it basically has like all of the enablers, but not great payoffs and the man is a little bit sketchy so if we had a green source and a red source this hand could be pretty serviceable but as it is all we have is like a dark ritual into a yogmoth's will um, basically this hand doesn't do anything in this case uh, so yeah lots of enablers but no great way to set them up our second seven which we ultimately decided which we're, we're ultimately keeping is an inquisition of kozilek a lotus bloom a Helm of Awakening, a Scalding Tarn, an Underground Sea, a Stomping Ground, and a Mox Diamond. So this hand's not fantastic, but it does have some acceleration. Uh, we have the Lotus Boom that we can put down early, um, which will hopefully ramp us into something that we pick up on as we draw. And the Inquisition of Kozilek will be a little bit of a uh, little bit of early uh, disruption for one of the other decks that seems like it's positioning itself to go off quickly. So hopefully with this we'll get there. Okay, in this game, I had a Savannah, Swansong, Demonic Tutor, Noble Hierarch, Windswept Heath, Brainstorm, Mana Drain. What more could I want? I got everything here. I wish I got some Mana Rocks, but I mean, I got Interaction uh, through Swansong, uh, Mana Drain, which was able to be able to pump me out, uh, maybe, uh, you know, something big. I know there could be big things cast this turn, so I decided I wanted to Mana Drain. Okay, sure, I was short in one more blue, but hey... That's a gamble I was willing to take. Noble Hierarch, a great beginner. Uh, brainstorm, I had my tutors. I had every, a bit of everything in this hand, so I decided to keep. Oh, that helps out quite a bit. I'm going to play a breeding pool. Um, untapped, I'll go to 38. I will use it to cast an Arbor Elf. And I will also play a Mana Crypt. Okay, that's and not so bad. I'll pass with this. Okay. Yeah, um, I'll draw. Congratulations on a successful multi five. It's not bad at all, actually. All right, I'll uh, I'll play an island. Tap the island. Ish. Ugh. Oh, why do you gotta do this? I'll pass. <laughs> okay. Underground sea. Fish. Nice. I like it. Double fish. You, you can draw a card. You yeah. can draw a card. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were going to ask, but... Yeah. All right. Sorry, I um, and after that, I'll pass. All right. Card already. Go in there. I'm going to play... What's Heath? 
Mm -hmm. Crack for a Bayou, lose one life. Cast mm -hmm. a Noble Hierarch. Okay. Pass. And that's bad. All right, my turn. I need to roll for my crypt. Could someone pass me a d6? All right. Call Odds, it. I take damage. All right, pretty good. So I'll draw for turn. And once again, pretty good. Um, But there are two fish in play. I'm just going to play a Marsh Flats. I'll crack that for a Bayou. And I'll tap the... Sorry. I'll tap the Breeding Pool and the Bayou to cast... Rassios. And pass. Okay. Untap. Uh, upkeep. I will pay one. I like to play Snow Covered Island. Oh, mono blue. Yeah. Mono blue confirmed. Mono blue confirmed, boys. And I would like you to play a Reordain. You may draw your cards. Alright, I'll draw a card. Well, he's a madman. I'll scry two. Oh boy, draw. these draws though. Ooh. Scry two. Uh, yeah, it's gonna go bottom, I guess. And I'll draw a card. All right. So I'm going to pay for my fish <laughs> and draw a card. Let's see, I'll play a Dumping Ground Tapped, and I'll suspend, sorry, that was a little loud, I'll suspend a Lotus Bloom, which does not count as casting a spell. Interesting thing, you You're can only suspend spells anytime you could cast them. So you can suspend a Lotus Bloom while you're under rule law, then cast your spell, but if you cast your spell, you can't then suspend your Lotus Bloom. Fun facts. Fun facts with Adam. All right, so if someone would just pass me a d6, and uh, with that, I'll pass. Trying my darndest not to feed the fish. All right, turn, and tap. <coughs> Draw for turn. Play a Savannah. And turn. All right. My turn. Oops. I will roll for crypt in my upkeep. Once I take damage. Jeez. Safe. <laughs> Safe. The amount of oh. crypts we've seen you get. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I will play an ancient tomb as my land for turn and pass. Oh, that's exciting. Um. Untap, uh, upkeep, I think the fish die. Fish is dead. Fish is dead, and I'll draw. Um, yeah, why not? Um, okay, I would like to play a <laughs> Wooded Foothills. I would like to stack the, crack the Wooded Foothills. You're allowed to do as you like. Am I? <laughs> That's exciting. I'm, I'm glad I'm allowed to do as I like. So, I have cracked my wooded foothills, and I have searched up a bayou. With the bayou, I would like to tap, and I would like to cast a Birds of Paradise. Sure. And I would like to pass the turn. Alright, I'm going to pay two for my fish. Mm -hmm. Put the Lotus Bloom on two. Draw a card. I go ahead and play... Mana Confluence and Mox Diamond resolves. Mm -hmm. I'll pitch Scalding Tarn and uh, with that I'll pass. End of your turn. <coughs> I'm going to pay a blue and I'm going to brainstorm. Brainstorm other. Uh, would you like to pay four for that? No, I may draw. But this is a pretty interesting game. Yeah, we, we've been waiting around for, for fish to die. Yeah, I think Jesse can kind of keep his up like for a Jesse. while now. Yeah, I, I I can't afford to keep mine up, unfortunately. So, draw. Mm -hmm. Play a third messer. Like the 
set. What a mess. Sir. What a mess. I <laughs> wonder how, how many land puns I can make. I'm not going to try. I'm going to upset someone, but I wonder, <laughs> I wonder how many I can make. When somebody plays in it. When somebody plays a Meyer, it's I admire your play. Just That's keep, admirable. Keep making land puns until people get a headache. <laughs> <laughs> and um, let's turn. Really? That's it? Yeah. Spent all that time to fetch just to say that's it? Yeah. Oh, man. On your end step. I was waiting for, waiting for you to make puns. On your end step, I will pay for and activate Thrasios. Sure thing. Yep. Wow. The, the card. I'm going to go on the bottom. And we're going to reveal a card. card. That's, a, that's a card. That's a card for sure. And we'll put that in hand. Uh-huh. Now. Now, now. Yep. And we're going to untap. On my upkeep, I will roll for crypt. Oh my goodness. Yep. <laughs> And draw for turn. So we will pay green for carpet of flowers. Would you like to pay four extra? No, you can draw a card, Jesse. It's fine. Anyone else have any responses? Any okay. response? Okay. So we're going to go to our second main. Our second main, we're going to add the highest number of... It's two. Two blue. We're going to add double, double black. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and we're going to use this to cast a demonic tutor. Give, give him the shadow of doubt. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have no response. Uh, would you like to pay four? No, that's fine. I'll draw a card. All right. Uh, do you have a response? Oh, pass. Uh, no, no other responses. Okay. So, does he cards in hand right now? Seven cards. Okay. So I will tap my breeding pool and my mana crypt, and I will cast a windfall. Would you like to pay for? Well, no. So this trigger goes on the stack. Trigger goes yeah, on the stack. Trigger goes on the stack. Um, Would you like to respond to that trigger? Uh, yes, I would. To the remorse trigger? Yeah. I will, no, I'm okay. Okay, well, I'm going to draw a card. Okay. Okay, so now that's back on the stack. Windfall. Yeah. Um, I would like to respond to the windfall. Yeah. I'll cast an impulse. Sure. Would you like to pay for? Mm, no. You uh, can draw. Ooh, I'm debating if I want to here. I think I'll opt not to draw a card. All right, okay. turn, your impulse can resolve. Sweet. Yeah. So that resolves. Uh, you pass priority. Do you have anything? I'm, pass I'm going to pay a life. I'm going to attempt to mana drain it. Ooh, the man is mana draining the windfall. In response to that, I've got nothing. If you want to counter his spell and not deny me the yeah. mana drain mana, it's one song, the windfall. All right. All right. Sound, sounds good, I guess. So you get a swan. Ooh, I get a beautiful burb. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. I will untap. I will upkeep, and I will to draw. Yeah, I would simply like to play a tropical island. Hmm. Man's keeping up interaction, methinks. He's going to hard cast his force of will. Upkeep. Cards in hand. Pay for the fish. Wow. Deal. Draw a card. Mm -hmm. Play a land. And uh, we'll pass. Alright, untap. Draw for turn. Play a Tarnished Citadel. Wow. And I'm going to Demonic Tutor. Would you like to pay four? No. All right, I'll draw a card. 
Uh, any other responses to Demonic Tutor? Nope. I have no right. response. Good. Mm-hmm. Windfall? <laughs> yeah. Now it's going to happen, but on my terms. Okay. Like being tapped out <laughs> after <laughs> casting the Windfall and letting you <laughs> untap with a trillion mana <laughs> and 12 cards. Yeah, sounds yeah. like an even play. This, this may be the worst trade deal ever, possibly <laughs> in the history of the human race. <laughs> Go ahead. That's it? Yep. Well. An untap. My upkeep. I'll roll for crypt. Odds I take damage. Finally. No. I'm at 34. It's about time. If I know for a fact it's a bad idea, should I do it anyway? He's, yes. he's representing ad nauseum. Oh yeah, that's just true. Or just, you know, counter spells. But also ad nauseum. Any counter spells? In his graveyard? In my graveyard, I have no counter spell. I have a Mystic Grimoire, an Impulse, and a Preordain, sir. Mm. Yeah, he's cantripped a fair bit. I have. Sculpted a hand of ad nauseum. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Force of will. Mm-hmm. Yep. He's got it all. Everything he could possibly want. Mm-hmm. That's true. What am I going to do here? Okay. Okay, so beginning of the phase, I'm going to add tr- triple. Triple. Oh. <laughs> triple. Triple what? Fuck, triple black. Tap the mana crypt and pay three. Mm-hmm. I'm going to dark petition. Woo! Ooh, that's dark pretty petition, spicy. Dark petition resolves. Um, I would like to respond. Sure thing. I would like to tap my island and my other island by mana drain, targeting the dark petition. Ah, that's pretty good. Pretty good, uh... It's gonna be a nice fat mana drain. Yeah. Okay, mana drain resolves. Cool. Dark petition doesn't. It was a good attempt. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm upset. Uh, <laughs> you know, take two. For, for, oh, my, for my insolence? Shit. Oh, yeah, missed, you I forgot fish triggers. two fish triggers. I missed yeah, two fish triggers. Two triggers. Ah, it feels bad, man. Yeah, I will take two life, and I will go down to 37. And? I'll have to pass. Okay. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Main phase one. I'm going to add my five colorless mana. My mana pool. Um, then I would like to. We are going to ca- We are going to play a burning catacombs. I would like to use two of my colorless mana and a blue for windfall. Uh, this trigger. <laughs> I'm gonna respond to Windfall and cast a uh, Pyroblast. Targeting your like, own fish. Targeting the Windfall. Oh, okay. Threat the bird. That's unfortunate. I. Does anyone else have any response? Uh, no response here. Sorry. No response. Okay. Windfall gets countered. And uh, this trigger on the stack, <laughs> I guess it'll resolve and I'll draw a card. Um, that's a card. He, he has the option to pay four. He has the mana for it. I'm not going to. God. This is nice. What the heck is going on in this game? <laughs> that's a good question. I can't tell. Okay, so you have eight. You have how, how, how many cards? In hand? Or yeah, in hand, in hand. Five. All right. Well then. Uh, okay, so I would like to use the three black. Uh, three three colorless. colorless. Sorry, three colorless, my bad. And Birds of Paradise for black. Whew. And Ryu right. for black. Uh, Dark Petition? I do have Spell Mastery. Do you have anything for that? Because I've got nothing. I pass. Oh, uh, well, wait, Remora Trigger. Yeah, I'll, I'll draw a card. Yeah, you can draw. Oh, okay, I still have nothing. <laughs> 
Um, you can manage in your dark magician. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> what has been going on in this game? This is the game. <laughs> this is absolutely the game. Um. Yeah. Okay. With that, uh, that resolves. You gain five. <laughs> Yeah, and with that, I'll pass the turn. All in tap. Um, Lotus Bloom comes off suspend. Mm -hmm. I'll cast Lotus Bloom. Okay. Mr. Grimora, I will not pay for you. Dead fish. Upkeep. Do we want to do anything? I'm going to go ahead and cast a Lindol's Vault. In your upkeep? Yep. Worst tutor ever. <laughs> I don't remember Skeletor being in this version. <laughs> Skeletor is in it. Huh. It's the one from 2010. What's Skeletor from? Is it from... He-Man. It's oh, He-Man. So and did what? do that. It's called He-Man and the times. Masters of the Universe. Is that what it's called? Yep. They're pretty full of it. The masters are his buddies. Really full of it. Okay, so you finished resolving. You finished. Technically, I didn't my, tap my mana correctly, so it has to be a blue and a black. So blue. Okay. So I did that eleven times. That hurt. Ouch. How much so life are you at right now? I'm Jesse? at twenty-eight. Twenty-eight life. Okay. So now passing priority in your upkeep. Yes. All right. I will tap my Ancient Tomb and my Lands. I will take two. I will go to 32. And I'm going to... Oh, wait. I actually... Yeah, sure. I can still do this. I'll actually pay like this. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to kick into the Royal on your Lotus Bloom in your upkeep. Hmm. It's pretty good. Pretty nice. I'm going to tap it for um, triple... Black. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll metamorphose to draw a card. So I have three black floating. Mm hmm Yeah. You have the desert yeah, beside you. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go ahead and just make it five black off the metamorphose. And uh, I'll draw a card. And mm -hmm. I will add nauseam in response to your into the roll. All right. That's pretty neat, I guess. I passed priority. I yeah, passed I got priority. nothing. All right. Um, I'm at 28, and I know what's on top of my deck, and this could go very, very poorly. <laughs> That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh -huh. 10, 11. Okay. 17. Uh, 17. Yeah. 17. I'm at 17 left. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 17. 16 left. 14, 15 left. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. 14 left. 12 left. Mm -hmm. Not bad. No, um, not bad at all. 11 left. 9 left. 8 left. 7 left. 5 left. Mm hmm. Oh, spicy. That's interesting. I think you need to take one more, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> think one more. Uh, it's risky. Can I win with this? All right. No, you can't. Uh, it see. is impossible. We certainly have Cabal Ritual. Well, if you can win, what are you going to win with? Exactly? And a Lotus Petal. You have almost no rocks, really. Yeah, I think we can stop here. No, no, you should take one more. No, we're going to stop here. Oh, but, but, but let me know what you draw. Uh, Yeah, it's true. I, I still have a draw. Wow. For excitement's sake. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, all right. So you're at five life exactly. I'm at five exactly. Oh, man. Please get probe so I can bolt you. By you. 
play a Lotus Petal. Pay one life. Go to four. Cabal Ritual. Mm-hmm. Buy black. Mm-hmm. Use two of it to play Grim Monolith. Tap that for three. Use two. Uh, I'll use one black. First, I'm going to uh, Inquisition you. In response, I'm going to enlight a tutor. Okay. So, A tutored for food chain. Fair enough. And you Inquisition resolved? We're going to take the nature's claim. Well, it's a reveal, so could we see those yep. two? You don't want to exile the Mist Hollow Griffin? <laughs> it's not exiled. It's discarded. Oh, it's discarded. You don't want to discard the Mist Hollow Griffin? All right, well, we're going to tap this for three. Play Isochron Scepter. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put Dramatic Reversal on it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go ahead and activate it with the one floating and the one black. Anybody have a response? Okay, I guess I will. Wait. Oh, no, nobody have a, has a response. Not me. No. I will crack the wording catacombs. All right. So, in response to the activation of Isochron Scepter, I would like to cast Abrupt Decay, targeting the Scepter. Sure. Hmm. That complicates things. I figured it might. I'll untap my Grim Monolith. Crack Lotus Petal for a green to play a Carpet of Flowers. Mm -hmm. So three colorless. Well I, well, I mean, I still have one black. The potential for three colorless. Uh. Whew. <laughs> okay, boys. What's happening now? <laughs> I'm going to use the black and two colorless. I'm going to play Waste Knot. Well, black and one color. Well, colorless. Uh, do I have any color? I do have a colorless. I do have something to play with my other colorless. So I will play Talisman of Dominance with that colorless. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess no one ever wheel now. <laughs> I'm going to go to my second main phase. Uh oh, Jesse's going to wheel now. You have three islands? Yes, I do. I will make three red. Uh oh. Uh oh. We see EDH now, boys. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Oh, boy. Oh, really? Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh. Jim! <laughs> Jim! <laughs> this is for you. Does the wheel resolve? Yeah. Oh, baby. Yeah, it resolves. <laughs> all right, what do you guys discard? Okay, well, we're all going to discard, so we have to keep track because it's whenever anyone, oh, whenever an opponent discards. Yeah. yeah. That's not even that exciting. So, so there gonna... are th two creatures. So you get two, two, two zombies. Yep. There are, there's one land, so you get two black mana. All right. And Ooh. then there are three non-creature, non-land cards. You'll draw an additional three cards, so you'll draw ten cards. Okay, that seems reasonable. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... All right, can we keep going? Can we keep keeping on? I, I did play a line this turn. Mm -hmm. Play a Mox Opal. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a lot of lines. This will use a two black and cast a Demonic Tutor. He made it, boys. Um, anybody have anything? Uh, I pass priority. I'll respond. Blue, blue. Shadow of that? Womp womp. Oh no, tap it for black. Come on. <laughs> Be creative. Sure. Okay. He gets a draw card. I do get a draw card. Um, hmm. So, draw? Yeah, you may draw. In that case, I will tap this for a Birds of Paradise. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I guess we wait our fate. Yeah, basically. I'll pass. 
Right. Good job. You have four life, Jesse. That's correct. I think you're going to have to block with that bird. No, I think we might just be dead. <laughs> <laughs> and draw. Play a trap island. He still has the food chain. <laughs> yeah, he does. Take three. Play extract. Target yeah. myself. Yeah. I got nothing. Yep. Cool. So. Eternal Scourge. Yep. Use two. And a green. Cast food chain. Yep. Adam, do you have anything? Um, nope. I have no response. Do you have anything? I have nothing. All right. Proceed to exile. Proceed to sack the eternal scourge. Yep. Right. Exile. Yeah. Exile. Yeah. Cast your own Tazri infinite amount of times. Yep. Search for storm count is infinite. <laughs> <laughs> Wind cons. Yep. Well, it's been fun, boys. Yeah, it has. Go Hagra <laughs> Dialog Boost. Yep. And do that X and amount of times until you're all dead. Cast yep. Tazri a bunch of times. Yep. That, all right. This mm -hmm. kills the man. That's a game. All right. Well, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I guess we'll see you in the post game. Hey guys, so uh, I won. It was uh, a bit spotty there <laughs> <laughs> with, uh, with Jesse almost like kind of semi going off, but thankfully Adam had his bounce. Then I kind of forced my hand there when I got uh, thought seized. I was thinking about going for the nature's claim on mm -hmm. the grim monolith, but then I, I really just gambled there going, if Jesse flops, I might as well just go for like the win on my turn. Uh, luckily, after the wheel, I wheeled into an extract, which, you know, only simplified matters for me. So, yep. Uh, thanks to Shaper for his list, and I uh, had fun with it. Yeah, I, I was... I tried to do stuff that game, but at every turn, just counterspell, counterspell, counterspell. So, I didn't really get to do all that much. I f it, was, it was probably a mistake to kick the... to kick the... Um, into the royal... But it ultimately didn't matter because there was nothing relevant that I could have cast in my post wheel hand that would have saved the game. Yeah, and, and for me, I think that this uh, this game was largely decided on just the mana drains uh, on on the dark petitions. We saw two of them. I think. Oh man! Yeah, uh, dark petition just say mana drain after. Yeah, really, right? <laughs> um, yeah, basically the the whole the whole point of it was I was I was trying to. Dark petition for either an ad nauseum or some sort of interaction, such as a silence. Um, and I, I had the abrupt decay in hand, so my, my entire plan was uh, whatever happens, I'll just abrupt decay the uh, scepter. And that worked. Unfortunately, what didn't work was uh, when Niven had the his combo. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Tried, Jim. I tried. Yeah. <laughs> I tried my darndest. Uh, and, and I can only deliver one win today. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so I thought that was a great game, and uh, you know there was some really cool plays. Um, obviously, like all of the interaction was was really neat, and on top of that, I got to use uh, an instant speed uh, cantrip there, <laughs> so I can pop my lotus, so I could ad nauseum. The ad nauseum didn't work out super super well, which is a little unfortunate. I just needed like one or two more rituals, I think, to get there. Um, but yeah, no, I'm really happy with how that game went. It was a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, it was just. It's great to see like all those attempts to wield, those fish being around for so long, and yeah, I think uh, it's a it's a cool deck. This this melt banana. Melt. Ba well, <laughs> I, I like Yidris so much that I actually tweeted it for Gilded Lotus to steal Yidris. To steal Yidris <laughs> It's like I want her on my side. You mean Gilded Drake? Gild yeah. Oh, did I? Yes, Gilded yeah. Drake. Uh, mm. I said Lotus before, but yeah, um, that would have been rude. But fortunately, this deck can go off without Yidris, so it's not the end of the world. But Yidris is just so dank. Uh, Yidris value, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. any of any of your decks getting Yidris. Oh, it'd be horrible. It's like Cascade. Into, like, yeah, Cascade, Counterspell. Oh, I should run Treachery. Oh. 
<laughs> I mean, Jeez. if you were in a high tide package in there, which I don't think you do. Nah. No. Well, there you go. That's the sweet new tech. Yeah, it sweet domes you tech. for five off of ad nauseum, but it's fully worth it. <laughs> it's fine. So does Gush, and people still play it. It's true. And you just take someone's Timnon, you just draw a bunch of cards. Yeah. And I mean, it's us. Oh, good. Spicy new tech. All right. Well, someone from the Discord, do us a favor and try that out because I don't know if any of us will. Uh, <laughs> Doubt it. Um, any other thoughts? Yeah, no, it was it was just a nice game. There was just, some interaction. It's just a good game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was a and, uh, fun. And Food Chain Tazri kind of taking it after everyone had expended their resources was just kind of how these games can go sometimes. Yeah. There's a big fight. Yeah. You either win the fight and you win the game or you lose the fight and then someone can... Uh, sweep up what remains <laughs> yeah. no, I, don't know. I found the game like it just kind of there's no there's no peaks and all that it was kind of like the jazz it was like the lounge music and <laughs> I'm, like... I'm offended and i think jim is offended <laughs> i thought that waste knot was dank it, um, was, it was a pretty good waste if we had better cards in hand yeah. that weren't two creatures yeah so and... one more land and i probably could have gotten there or yeah. one or two more lands yeah Definitely. No, I think this 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 was a fun game. Yep. Um, there was some good interactions. And yeah. Was... Well, I guess that's all that that needs to be said. And uh, if anybody out there has any comments, feel free to leave them in the uh, in the comments below. Um, and yeah, so uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Team Turn Three. We'll see you next time.